Hey guys, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. Today we're taking a look at this brand new Honda Civic Type R that just came to the game and we actually found it in the Forzathon. That's exactly how you guys can get it. It's this week's Forzathon shop prize and we'll actually quickly jump into it so I can show you. It does not cost a lot. I ended up getting it the other day. It's only 150 Forzathon points. So definitely make sure you get it because these cars have actually been starting to become very rare and exclusive. Any car that's in the Forzathon shop, especially the second one. The Forza Horizon Edition cars aren't too rare, but the secondary car that's in the shop for a little bit less Forzathon points is definitely worth it to buy. So I have 350 points. I already own this car because I got it the other day. So I'm not going to get another one, but I could buy two more if I wanted to. But it had to do with this weekly challenge that helped us get that many points. That way we could actually get this car. So this week's challenge, if you haven't done it, there's still two days from now. I think today's like October 22nd. So two more days um, to get it completely done. I guess two and a half days. But definitely do it because if you get that car it will be worth something one day you can't find them on the auction house at all and this one was very easy for this week's challenge the most hard one or the most tedious one i should say was you had to bank up to 2 million skill points and last week was 7 million so there's definitely an improvement this week but regardless it did take a little while like 20 minutes to do it but either way you get a car that's very exclusive and it might be worth something like could probably end up selling this for like five ten million later on in the future if they don't like re-release the car which is very cool so i'm happy with it it's actually a really nice car but what we're gonna do we're gonna jump back to our castle right now we're actually going to see what sort of upgrades we can do to this car i don't want to jump there i will jump to the castle i actually like having this castle because when you upgrade your car and customize it it's actually outside of the castle which is very cool but if you go into the forza um horizon festival then you're just inside a white building which is also cool the lighting is really good in there so the cars look great but i think just owning this place and spending 15 million credits on this we have to take advantage of it so we're gonna jump in here i'm gonna see what sort of customizations we can do i love this intro too when you're entering the castle that's sick so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's actually go over to the auction house, see if any of these are on the auction house. I did take a look a little while ago and there were none available, but we'll go to Honda Civic. I think it's 2018 and we'll check one out. So no auctions to display. And this car was literally available like four days ago, I think uh, is when it was released. So definitely make sure you get one because it will be rare and that's probably the only way you'll be able to get this car until like later on in the future when they re-release it in the shop. So make sure you do that. Let's jump into upgrades and go to custom upgrade. We'll check out the appearance package we can do on it. Hopefully we can do quite a bit but it doesn't really look like we can. This would be a car that I would expect a lot of customizations for so hopefully Forza in the future brings a lot more like body or cosmetic upgrades to the car that we can do that'd be very cool but all we can do is add little splitters to it and the tow hitch to the front and then for the wing we can take that massive wing that's already on it and change it for i was going to say a gt or a forza gt wing but that's not a forza gt wing it's actually a very cool wing as well i guess that's more of the hatchback wings that they offer in this game but um, I like the original one. It honestly looks pretty good. It's a good looking car. Now we do have the 2016 Honda Civic Type R in this and it's a two door and it's just honestly such an ugly car I think but this one the four door it definitely brings it to another level and I love that red interior as well. It looks very good with those racing seats. The conversion we can actually swap the engine over to a 1.4 liter engine. Uh, we'll leave everything basically stock for now. I'm actually going to jump into the tunes and just download someone's tune for this car. But I just really wanted to see the appearance package. And of course, everything else is exactly the same as all the other cars. So we'll go to find new tunes. We'll completely upgrade this to basically as much as we can. I think that first one's basically the, the best. We got 8.2, 600 horsepower. You know what, we're just going to go with this one. I'm not too picky. I'm probably honestly not going to use this car a lot. But regardless, the fact that we have it, and then once we become that legendary painter, then we'll throw it up on the auction house for what it's actually worth. Now, I love the fact that we can throw up some exclusive cars and 
kind of enjoy the fact that the Forzathon's a little bit more challenging based on the fact that it takes longer. That way, not so many people can get this car if they don't grind to get it. So, I actually really like that. But let's go ahead. We'll find new designs. I might put my own design on it as well, but I just want to see if there's any really nice ones. So far, there's not. Like, these are, are cool, I guess, but the fact that 2,200 people downloaded that, I'm very, very surprised. All of these are pretty average, to be honest. Like, it's, it, again, very cool and talented, but they don't make the car look amazing or anything like that. So I think I should put my camel on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The camel is no good either. We did end up actually switching that wing and putting that front bumper with the splitters on it and the tow hitch. And then, of course, with the racing wheels on it and some new rims. So let's take a look at the manufacturer colors. Now, the red actually looks really good, but I kind of like the idea of having that red accent on the bottom kind of stick out a little more. So I'm thinking that a black or a white is probably the best. Now it does look good in almost every single color. Like this is a sweet car for a Honda, very nice. I wouldn't buy it in real life, but definitely would look at it if it was like parked or driving by or whatever. Definitely a car that I would look back at. So we'll take a look at these rims. What do we want to do to this? I have no idea what to even do. Just completely black it out maybe. I mean, uh, I might go with like a more shiny rim instead. Oh, what the heck? Go over the rims, go special colors. We'll go with like a chrome or brushed aluminum or something. What do we want? Right here. That's fine. You know what? That's the one I'm going with. Makes it look a little bit better. I don't like having that tire rating, like the white walls on it. Um, but that's fine. That's no big deal. I'm not going to totally find a new upgrade or a tune just to change that. But this thing should be a beast. So what I want to do is I want to take it out, go for a little drive and uh, experience it. And then you guys can actually decide if you want to actually grind and get it or if you want to skip out on it. I mean, 150 points is not a lot. And I kind of like how I'm banking points. Because next week's challenge, if I don't want to grind, then at least I have enough points to buy that car right away. Because I think every single week so far, it's been 150 points to actually buy these cars. And what I ended up doing actually when the 911 GT3 RS was out, because that's a very, very cool car. That's probably the best car so far that's been on the shop. I ended up buying like three or four of them. I, I, I believe I have four. Let's actually take a quick look. Uh, change car. We'll take a quick look at how many I have because this is going to help me in the future. As long as that car doesn't come out anytime soon, it'll help me huge with making some money. So yeah, I have four of the 911 GT3 RSs, 2019s. And again, you can't really find them on the auction house. And when you do find them, they're for like 10 or 20 million credits. And people just buy them because that's the only way to get them. And some people really like this car, which... I'm a huge fan of Porsche now, especially this car. It's one of my favorite, one that I actually want in real life. So why not, you know? Having four Porsches of the same Porsche in the garage is never, never an issue. So this car is very fast, actually handles pretty decently as well. And it looks really good with the way the um, sky is like shining off the paint. Looks very good. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, what should I do? Should I do an actual race or should I just go head to head with some drive guitars driving around? You know what? We're going to do an actual race. This is a circuit race. So we'll go there. We'll do a couple laps. Spin this thing around. Now I'm kind of regretting the black color to be honest. I think it would have been better. Now my way be it. It would have been better with the white. I think that makes the red on the bottom actually stand out a little bit more. And then maybe with some black rims would have looked really good. But I don't like the way the rims are right now or the color of the rims. And especially those white walls on the tires. It actually hurts the car a lot. It makes it look very, very bad. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is a cool car to have. So we'll go to a solo race. Um, yeah, we'll race with some hatchbacks. And of course, I'm going to do the Civic Type R. 
What do you guys think of this car? Let me know down in the comments below. Would you guys rock this car in real life? I honestly think I'd get like a Subaru, a very similar Subaru over this car. I think the closest one would be like an STI or a WRX or whatever they're called. But not bad, not bad. I'm um, going to leave all my settings, everything the same. And we're just going to rock it. I'm probably going to uh, be quiet for a little bit, let you hear the sounds of the car and just see how it performs. So enjoy this race. All right, so there we go. We just finished first place, which didn't really matter if we came in first. We we're more just testing out the car, seeing how it performed and everything. And I did a couple different like braking tests and things like that. It wasn't trying to race clean or anything, and I do race in automatic. Um, and it was okay. It was like an average car, nothing crazy, nothing really exciting. Pretty good control into like the smaller little corners, and you definitely have to brake a little bit earlier into the sharper corners. Otherwise, it'll just slide right off into the walls. Um, I don't know if it's all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive, but I did find the back end kind of did want to kick out on me a little bit. But overall, just because it is a slower car, to be honest, it was pretty easy just to keep kind of control of the car. But yeah, 
make sure you guys get this car i mean it's even worth it if you're not going to use it just like myself not really going to use it but it's definitely worth it to get that way in the future you know if you do become legendary painter or elite even elite painter i believe has some perks but if you become one of those uh higher tier levels then you can sell it for a lot and at least get a profit for some money as well so that's probably the main benefit of me grinding and getting those two million skill points that way i could have got this car that's probably the main reason i did it is just because i know in the future it's going to turn into some serious coin which of course could buy you like a massive castle in this game and that's exactly what i'm trying to go for so Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. That I can't even talk. Make sure to smash that like button. <laughs> and uh, make sure you're subscribed. Lots more videos coming out. If you guys are enjoying the Forza franchise, I hope you also tune into the Call of Duty franchise that I am now posting. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. So anyway guys, until next time, this is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.